What is going on everybody? Skyrocket Gaming here. Today I'm coming out with you a little bit a little bit of a different video. I'm actually going to explain to you how to make a Hurt World server. I've actually gotten some replies on some of my other stuff asking how you make a server and there isn't really any direct way on how to do it. So I'm just going to explain how to do it now. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website and you're going to want to find Steam CMD. It's kind of a Steam command prompt window to manually install things. If you just search Steam Steam CMD in Google, you can it'll take you to this page, the Valve Developer Community, and you'll have like a download link right here. Just go through the regular install process. It's pretty straightforward on how to do. So once you've done that, you just want to go into your computer and you're gonna to want to find Steam CMD. So let me bring it up here. You can just search Steam CMD and you'll usually find like a zip file like this right here. You just right just double click that and it'll bring up this window right here. Here's your Steam CMD. It'll go through, it'll update some things, just let it do its thing. And there, so once it comes up with that little steam thing, you'll know it's done. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna log in anonymous. So if, and if you log in with your regular steam username, it will not work. You have to log in with this anonymous thing. So once, you're, once you've actually done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to wanna do force install underscore dare so it's gonna look like this force install directory so once you have that don't put in that command yet what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to find your location in which you want to install your directory so what do I have here is I have this hurt world server folder right here so I'm gonna double click that and it'll bring up the window for me right here and so I'm gonna to want to double click this to bring up this whole entire path here I want to highlight that and I just want to copy that path to tell it where to install. So I'm going to force install underscore directory space. You want to right click that up there, edit, and then you're going to just want to paste that there. So it tells what directory to install it in. So you just want to press enter right there. And so it will force install stuff to that directory that you chose it to install to. So after you've done that, you're going to want to um, do an app update and it's going to be to install like the hurt world server folders and files and stuff so it's going to look like this is just going to type in app underscore update and then it's 405 100 you want to press that and i've already done it it says success app 405 100 is already up to date it shouldn't take long it took me like a minute two minutes to update but it's just going to update all that stuff i did it in a different folder i have it in this one right here so now after you've done all that, you're it's gonna you're gonna have all your folders in this hurt world folder. This is your server folder. So you're gonna want to double click this and you're gonna want to open it up. And what you're gonna be greeted with is all these files. You're gonna notice you have like Steam apps, a bunch of uh, DLL files. But what you're gonna kind of want to be focusing on here is just the host.bat. So to actually get your server up and running, what you're gonna want to do is just want to edit this this bat right here. So. Once you're in this bat, what you're going to want to do is this right here where it says test server for me is going to say unconfigured. You're just going to want to delete that when it says unconfigured and you're going to want to change it to whatever your server name wants to be. And so, and after that, if you want to add yourself as an admin, it, it's just going to say host uh, 12871 and it's just going to do log file game log txt. You're going to want to add another semicolon of after host and put add admin and your Steam 64 ID. If you don't know how to find your Steam 64 ID, there's a lot of easy stuff to find it. There's websites. You just put in your Steam login name or your custom URL on like Steam ID IO, and you just want to search it here and see it, it brought up my Steam 64 ID right there. And so I just copy pasted that into the DLL file or the bat file right here. And you're just going to want to file save that and then exit out of that. Now to actually make your server run, actually, here's Steam CMD. Once you're done with all that update, you can just type quit in Steam CMD and it'll exit itself out. To make your server start up and running, you're wanna gonna right click or double click host.bat. And it should bring up this window here, just a little command prompt window. And it will stay, it'll just stay like that. Or close itself out. It should close itself out because I actually have another server running. That's why it closed itself out right now. So after you've done all that, your server is up and running. And now I'm gonna go demonstrate how you can actually join your server. Okay guys, 
Once you're in Hurt World, the game is all booted up. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the developer console by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. Once this opened up, you should be greeted with this black window here. And in order to join your server, you just want to type connect 127.0.0.1. And that's how you join your server. You just want to press enter right here. It should say connect to the server, loading level demons land. You can close out the developer console if you want. Uh, but you're going to want to open when you join your server because you can actually spawn stuff in because you if you added yourself as an admin. Wait for it to spawn me in here. All right, and here I am. I already have, actually have a ton of stakes. So I've spawned myself in like a ton of these stakes and stuff. See, I have like 10 of them on me. So uh, basically here I am in my server. Uh, just to go over a quick little thing about the developer commands. Um, I can spawn myself in items, for example. Like, I don't know what the... All I know is that the G key means give and then there's item IDs like 2 and then 10 I think this is a stake no storage lockers I just gave myself 10 storage lockers it should dump out onto the ground if you give yourself too many no they stack but yeah that's basically it and I'm going to go over some more item commands later after I've done uh, publishing this video but that is about it as far as making your own server is it's pretty kind of straightforward it could be a bit easier but I hope it made it clear for you anyways that was my how to create a server in Hurt World tutorial, and I hope to see you guys next time.